From dead bodies to plane crashes, these are five horrifying things spotted on Google Earth. A bloody crime scene. Located in the Netherlands at these coordinates, you can find Beatrix Park Dock. But this beautiful dock overlooking the water is home to a terrible secret. Using Google Earth Pro, we can go back in time to April of 2011. Suddenly, things start to look a lot more sinister, as we see what seems to be a bloody crime scene. Analyzing the image, we can see what appears to be a person standing at the edge of the dock. Next to them, what one may believe to be a dead body. This is all accented by what seems to be blood going from the start of the dock all the way to the end. To me, this gives off the impression that the body is about to be thrown off into the water. If you find this dock today, you'll see many comments discussing and describing the alleged crime scene, with many laughing at the fact that it seems to be the majority of the traffic the site sees. But despite it being known as a crime scene, some theories suggest this isn't actually the case. Instead, many hypothesize the dead body is actually a dog. Believers concluded that the owner was throwing a ball for the dog who would jump into the water to retrieve it before running wet up back through the dock. The water turning the pier, which is already naturally red, more saturated, giving it the appearance of being a trail of blood. This is further emphasized by the lack of blood on the trail leading up to the dock, which should have been visible if it was actually blood. Believe it or not, a woman has actually come forth and claimed to be the owner of said dog. She says the moment she saw the image, she knew it was her and her dog Rama, further confirming that Rama would jump into the jetty and return repeatedly. She finds the idea that people believe this to be a crime scene hilarious, and is just happy that a dog has essentially become famous as a result. Although I would have to say that somebody coming forth and claiming to be the person in the image still feels far from irrefutable evidence. So for better or worse, maybe you can leave this one up to personal interpretation, but be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. Mummified Remains When you think of France, you probably think of exquisite food, beautiful art, and astounding architecture surrounding you from all sides. But wandering the streets of Nancy, France, Looking up at the balconies around you might not be for the faint of heart. That is because one balcony at this location has what seems to me to be human remains standing straight up and staring directly at the camera. Others have described it as a monster, an alien, or even a demon, in my opinion all fitting labels. But what might make you scratch your head a little bit is when I tell you that Google would actually go on to censor the figure. But no, not like how they blur people or censor faces, instead placing a massive blur across the entire form. Immediately, this adds a level of creepiness to the situation. Because if there is a simple explanation to the creature's existence, why would Google take the time to block it from our view? But maybe because it was achieving worldwide fame, and they wanted to protect the homeowners from people who might come try to visit in real life. Or maybe because the algorithm identified it as a naked form. Or just maybe something far more sinister. We just don't know. But that still leaves one important question. What is it? Well, the going theory that many seem to believe is that it is actually a tiki statue. With one user on Reddit even claiming to be able to identify the specific statue. Describing it as... Some weird wooden statue made to look like some crazy skinny Rasta man with nappy burlap dreads. Even providing a photo of the same statue a friend from New York owned that he was using as a hat or coat rack. Ironically, the face of the statue in the photo is also blurred. Although some think that the statues are not actually the same, others have accepted this answer as closure to the mystery of the creature on the balcony. But what do you think? Is the mystery solved, or is it still very much alive, hidden behind that large blurred out image? A massive pentagram. In a far point of Kazakhstan, you can find a nondescript stretch of land with no discernible markings or roads 
In fact, I heard the nearest town is over 12 miles away. But to this day, if you switch over to satellite view, you will see what could only be described as literally a massive pentagram some 1200 feet in diameter. A pentagram is usually depicted as a five-pointed star within a circle, and commonly, although not always, upside down when in the context of the occult and Satanism. But even if you don't believe in this kind of thing, you can't help but feel uneasy when you come across one that's almost a quarter mile across. I mean, on average, it would take you around 15 minutes just to walk around the circumference of this thing. But why is it here? I'm sure your mind, like mine, immediately went to satanic rituals, cult meetings, or human sacrifices. But my best friend is actually a satanist. So I asked him what he thought, to which he replied, Please stop saying that I perform human sacrifices. That's an offensive stereotype for what modern satanism actually is. But apparently, the area around the pentagram has been home to many archaeological finds, despite being so remote. So now I wonder if this is some kind of satanic Stonehenge, or another site that has significant meaning in the occult. I can tell you when I saw its size, I thought of the transmutation circles from the end of Full Metal Alchemist. But when a local archaeologist was asked, she said it was simply intended to be a park simply made in the shape of a star, even suggesting it might be Soviet in nature, as the star is a common symbol of the USSR, of which Kazakhstan was a part of until around 1991. This is potentially backed by the fact that a satellite image of the area can be seen from around December of 1985, in which the pentagram can just be barely seen through the many, many pixels. However, despite being a park, it has been left unattended for many years, and as a result, appears to be no more than several trails with overgrown paths. I find it funny, however, that people have uploaded photos of the location online, but have chosen to upload photos of themselves instead. And although I don't want to judge a book by its cover, I don't think that they actually visited. The 1800 reviews on the location rated overwhelmingly 5 stars with the majority explaining how great they thought the experience was, and how much they enjoyed the rituals and the resurrecting of the dead. A Submerged Car Now there are actually a number of things you can find submerged underwater on Google Earth, but this one has a little bit of mystery surrounding it. In 2015, some workers were using large machinery in order to place lights on top of a tall tree for Cook's Funeral and Cremation Services in Michigan. While up connecting Christmas lights, one worker would look down at a pond on the property and see what appeared to be a car inside of it. The pond was naturally murky and you couldn't really see deep inside. And it wasn't until you were high up like that that you could actually see the bottom. Of course, they immediately contacted the police. When the dive team finally made it to the property, it was actually determined that the vehicle had actually been there for a long time, and the driver, believed to be Davy Lee Niles, was still in the driver's seat. But while this is obviously tragic, in its own way, it may have actually been a relief to the family, as Niles, who was living in a nearby motel, had actually gone missing about 10 years prior, after going to a bar one night and never returning. Niles was from Wyoming and had been reported missing back in 2006, with the family publishing an obituary in 2013 while he was still missing, stating, Davy Lee Niles, age 72, passed away and only God knows the time and place. No foul play was suspected as Davy was known to have health issues as he was battling cancer at the time of his disappearance. But as the news and bystanders began to look into the story, they started to notice something very morbid. When viewing the funeral home on Google Earth, you could actually see the pond and Niall's car inside of it. And yes, of course, at that point, Niall was still in the car as well. Using Google Earth Pro, you could even go back and see the faintest sign of the car as well around May of 2009, even though he's expected to have been there for even longer than that. However, if you go back any further, the image quality is just frankly too poor to be able to tell. 
I find this kind of morbidly ironic, as funeral home workers work with the dead and dead bodies on a near daily basis. But it seems that they're surrounded by it even when they don't expect to be. The family said that they felt closure finally figuring out what happened to Davy, even though they had to wait nine years to know. They even described their emotions as happy. And for anyone wondering, I was unable to tell if the funeral home was storing the body for the family. A plane crash. Zooming in on this location in Oakland, California, will bring you to something almost anyone would be afraid to see. A downed plane that looks like it has just been in a pretty violent crash. The plane in view appears to be in two parts, with the edges visibly charred, with debris and luggage thrown about across the tarmac. Surrounding it are emergency vehicles all neatly parked along the side. You may want to know some statistics involving injuries or deaths, but when you research this crash, others are quick to point out that the wreckage may have in fact been staged. One such piece of evidence is the lack of scratches, burns, or scorch marks on the tarmac leading up to the crash. So it gives off the impression that the plane had actually been placed there and not crashed. But the revelations don't end there, as a quick Google search would actually reveal that the airfield that this crash occurred on was the same one that the Matrix Reloaded had built their $2.5 million highway set on. So what is this plane? Well, when I was doing my initial research, I saw many, many people suggesting it was set up for accident investigator training. But that honestly always came off to me as an assumption. Another rumor I came across was that it was actually a set for the TV show Mythbusters, a popular show in the US that ran from the years of 2003 until 2018. But diving into the rumor a bit more, I could not find any scene that matched the image of the crashed plane. Finally a breakthrough after one Reddit user suggested that the image was actually from a set for NBC's Trauma. After a little bit of research, I managed to find a scene from the series depicting a plane that matches that from our image crashing, although of course it was CGI. But this further led me to a man by the name of Ben Nichols, who has done set design for many movies and TV shows including Trauma and The Matrix 2. And incredibly, his website header is an image of the plane crash from Google Earth. This all but 100% confirms that it was a set created for the TV show Trauma and not an actual plane crash. So while you may want to believe that something tragic happened, I think we can consider this mystery solved. Well that's it for now. Be sure to like the video to help the algorithm and subscribe to see more content like this. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out my most popular video where I talk about scary things captured on doorbell cameras. I'll see you next time.